And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Minecraft. Awesome. Okay. I've got uh, 14, 16 plastic ready to go. So, let's see uh, what it takes to get the plant sower. Uh, obviously, we're going to need two iron gears for this guy. And the gatherer is going to use gold gears, which I think we have to use iron, so I need two more for him. Okay, and then we're going to need some tin gears. And we're going to need a couple machine frames. And the pistons... Uh, we are missing some planks, so let's throw some planks into the system here. So, I need a couple pistons. Not that many, just a couple. And the other thing we're going to need is a flower pot. And uh, we have some clay floating around here somewhere. And let's see, there's the clay. So we're going to put a couple clay out here. Smack it with our good old shovel. And we got 16. We don't really need that many. So 8 is a good good start. And uh, while that's cooking up, we can then make the plant gather. So we need a few, just a couple gold gears. Not the whole shebang there. So we're also going to need two iron axes. We're going to need an iron hoe. Oh, we need some sticks. Of all the things that you need, you need some sticks. Okay. Okay, there's the iron hoe. That should be good. Now we can make the plant gatherer, which is basically the harvester. We have enough bricks for a clay pot, I believe. There's the clay pot. And we should have enough now for the plant sower. So those are all good there. I've got some fluid ducts, which uh, we'll need a little bit of. Uh, item ducts we might need more of. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to need some more leadstone conduit. So let's uh, get some of those. And do we need more item ducts? Uh, we'll, we'll use what we have there. We are going to need some servos. So let's grab a couple of these. Uh, one, two more for luck. Okay, so let's put some of this stuff away that we don't need immediately. The sticks, the plastic, the brick. Good to go there. Uh, with the diamonds that we've got, I want to make myself a suit of diamond armor. Because, why not? So, there's the pants, the helmet, and the boots. And the chest plate. So, let's get all of that on me. Alright. Cover me with diamonds. Yes. Just, you know, because, you know, as we venture into more and more of the world... We're, we're going to need a little bit of protection. And diamonds are not rare, so just be aware of that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want is the gatherer. And we're going to give this thing a little bit of space. So right there, probably a pretty good spot. This guy, we can show, as you can see, it's got a very small radius to start. 3x3 three is really not a lot of space to, to grow things. So we're going to want a few tier upgrades. Oh, I spelled tier wrong. There we go. So <clears throat> the range add-ons here uh, kind of give you an indication of what they do. So the tier 3 Help. adds 3. Oh, no. The Enderman took you out. Where did that, where did that zombie come from? He followed me. 
Oh, I got the Enderman. I'm gonna wait to respawn until morning. Wow, that was. Any other any other zombies around here? Oh, your grave. You're looking up from your grave. It's kind of creepy. Okay. So we uh, we killed some dudes there. So I'm gonna put the rotten flesh. Stuff that we don't need immediately. Uh, lead. Oh, is that full? It is full. Wow. Uh, so we need a couple tier. We're going to do tier two upgrades, which is iron based. So first things first, we need some glass panes. And then we can go ahead and get one, two of these. Now, we don't need more than two to, to start with. Definitely don't need more than two. So if we put this glass or this uh, tier two upgrade in, this should become boink, five by five, just like that. So we want to go to the very center of this block right there. Take one more down. This is where we go. This is where the plant sower goes. <clears throat> it's got to be in the middle. So if we look, turn this guy off. If we look at this range, you can see it's three by three. This is why we needed two of these upgrades. Now this guy is the same size as our gatherer. <clears throat> so if you have a, you can have a giant farm that's just, you know, you can have them right next to each other. Uh, but this is a really good size because if, uh, if you use regular plants, you can put one water block right in the middle here and it will keep all of the farmland around it good to go. So I want to put, I hear a bat. Oh yeah, there's a bat up here. So obviously I need a little bit of dirt to go in there. Finish that off. How long until morning? Um... It's going to be a couple minutes. It's 17.30 now. Morning starts about 18.30, I think. Sunrise, anyway. <clears throat> Time is weird in Minecraft. I need to turn off, before I forget, turn that off. There we go. So these two are ready to go, except, you know, they don't have power. They don't have any of the things that they need. So we're going to create a little access point here. get down underneath in the interest of being able to see I'll put the torch down here so there's our plant sower right there okay <clears throat> we need power and items to go into him so let's see uh, I don't think we have any really good saplings to to work with right now but we'll uh, we'll make do I think so the first thing we want, he doesn't need fluid. What he needs is power. So let's do leadstone uh, down on the bottom here. And then we're going to need item ducts right in here. So that is power for him and items to deliver. Because we need to push items into him uh, in order for him to actually, uh, you know, plant some stuff. So with that, I think we are done down here. So let's fill this back in just, just to make it look nice. Uh, all right, so item-wise, we need some sort of system uh, to manage that. I've got some servos. What I need, I need, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a crafting bench out here just because I don't want to run back and forth. So we need something to hold items. So if we look at a crate, small storage crate, we should be able to make this work. It, it holds quite a lot of material. So we need ooh, wood casing. What is that going to take? So we need a bunch of 
Let's get all of those and get a couple sticks. So let's get this first. Get the chests. We need four chests and I love this little craft here. And this is a small storage crate. Can we go medium? Nope, not quite yet. Not quite there yet. So this thing is gonna output items or it's gonna want to output items and we need to push items into there. Only we need to be very specific with what we push into there. So, hmm, I could put this maybe right underneath, but that's, that's not ideal. Let's get our hand, let's get our wrench out here. I call it a wrench just because it's it behaves like a wrench. It's called a crescent hammer, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. I would like item ducks to go in there like that. So I'm going to put the crate on top. Now, I only want him to pull out logs to go, no, not logs, saplings. I only want him to pull out saplings to go back into over here. This thing can hold a lot of material. So this will hold a lot of saplings. And ideally I'd have what I'd, I like to do tree farms that, uh, that are based off of either spruce or jungle saplings because they give you the most the most wood, the fastest. Uh, it just, it's just so fast. Okay, so with that guy, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, we're we're on a we're on a hunt for it. So we're 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 looking for it. So once I find, once we get some of those saplings, I can set this whitelist to be uh, saplings only, and then it'll just pull saplings out. Now pulling out of, let's put that there. I want another item duct right here. I think I found some. And we're going to have this be a blacklist. So it's going to pull everything out of this. Um, and actually, you know what? I think it would be better. Now that I look at this, it would be way better to put this on this side. Way better. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that really quick. Because I need the wood to go over here, and might as might as well have things on the right side, right? <clears throat> Which is just a quick. Oh, you know what I don't have though? I don't have a an axe. Okay, that broke pretty fast actually. Okay, servo. There, whitelist ignored. There we go. Now I can. Fill that back in. This just makes more sense in the long run. And then the power, I'm going to pull up and connect with this. So this will be powered, and that one back there will be powered. It'll be all good. Now, let's get some of this filled back in. Okay, so now I need the item duct. No, not the fluid duct, the item duct. And you're going to be blacklisted to nothing, which means it's just going to pull everything out. And this is going to house all the wood and all the saplings. Well, the wood, if we have an item duct here, item duct up here. That's the two item ducts to, to match. Uh, let's pull this out. Let's see. That's... One, two, three, four. We got lots of space here, so I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna connect these two item ducts together. And they're opaque, which is unfortunate, but we don't have the ability to make hardened glass yet. And we're gonna pull logs out of here, and uh, we're also gonna be able to push them into this system automatically too from this same line. So just go around there and uh, you know the wiring 
the the ducks are a little messy right now. We'll we'll get them cleaner when we have a little bit more tech and a little bit better system in place. <clears throat> now we need to worry about power. So right now this power goes down here. So I think if we want to be clean with this. There's no reason we shouldn't be. Go underneath here. Okay. <clears throat> the other thing, before I hook this up, I'm going to disconnect this. And then hook this up. And now we've got power on this line. I didn't want to hook it up yet because I don't have any saplings in there. I don't have anything configured. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't really jump like that, which is unfortunate. Okay. Okay, so we have power going down and it's disconnected right now because uh, I need some saplings. I could just throw some oak in there, but I kind of want to start with spruce. Uh, we also need some work over here, and I think we're going to need some actually additions stuff in order to get that to work, uh, which will use a little bit of power, but we happen to have some power right here. So, so this can be a line for you know a little bit of actually additions sort of uh, sort of thing over here really it's 15 saplings enough oh yeah that's good it's great okay so I want to try I need yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be good <clears throat> how far are you from away from home silence 400 meters Ooh. wow we had to go a ways for those there might be some closer maybe i just didn't go the right way first okay the other thing we need is a servo right here this is going to also be white listed <laughs> and this is going to be the log type that we want. So this is going to have logs coming out. Well, we don't want the logs to go in here because they're not going to give us that much. They're going to burn pretty fast. We want to try to convert them into charcoal first. Use a little bit of power up front and convert them into charcoal and then be able to use that uh, later on. So I think we're going to do this. Uh, let's take this away let's see what it takes to make a couple redstone furnaces uh, all my all my stuff is over here so while while flower is coming back let's see uh, redstone furnace is right here that's gonna take some more brick so mm -hmm. how much clay I've got that I've got one brick left and I'm going to need a little bit more. Let's see. Where is the clay? I know it's in here. Where do I? Oh, no. I still have it on me. So. Let's uh, pop this. Oh, I'm about to pop this. So. Okay. Make sure I got those. 40 clay. Uh, let's. Oh, there's four more there. That's good. So there's eight apiece. There's eight there. 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 Oh, that's going to use, yeah, that's going to waste a little bit of coal, but that's okay. Yay, saplings. Okay. Well, this is at least a chance to get this going. And so what we're going to need is access to the planter. So it's right here, right in the middle. So I'm going to set all the saplings, and I'm going to lock it. 
And locking it means that it's not going to forget where those go. Now I need, let's uh, put this in here. And to start this off, I'm just going to plant. Plant those like that. This one can be kind of off to the side. This one can kind of be off the side. But I want uh, like a big tree to grow right there. That would be perfect. The other thing we're going to need, this thing produces sludge. We're going to need to figure out a way to take care of that. So we can now hook power up to this. Boink. And it's going to use the saplings that I put in there, and it's going to plant them. Well, at least we got another four, uh, two by two in here. So that, that's a potential, potential good thing. So we're going to put this in there. So that system now, uh, aside from needing access to this servo, once, once the first tree grows, uh, which we can kind of help along. I think we have some bone back here. We have one bone. What are the odds that I'm going to get a tree growing with only three bone meal? Pretty slim, I'd say. Let's see if we can. One, two, grow. Yes, look at that. We got a, we got a tree grown. So this guy should now, he is not getting any, oh yeah, these are probably empty. Yep. So again, we need to sort of boost this system a little bit. There's a little power in here, and it doesn't go away until you actually add more fuel to it. So it's obviously pulling the tree. We should have gotten some saplings, so I'm going to grab those. I'm going to put them on the white list <clears throat> for this servo, which takes them and puts them back in the planter in here. And we should see those things being planted here soon. <clears> the <throat> thing is full of energy, which is good. And there they go. Awesome. The, the servo is at low level, not very fast, but it, it will work. And once we have our redstone furnaces up and running, we'll be able to send charcoal into the system. And that will basically be self-powered, and the whole system on its own will be, will be glorious. It's going to be glorious. Uh, so I need to let those... Uh, let those things charge up here, and uh, we'll come back next episode. Oh, they are done. Nice. Okay. Brick. Where'd my other brick go? Wasn't there brick being smelted in there? Oh, there's... Oh yeah, I was just coming to hand it to you. I didn't notice that you went into the house. Yeah, I was right behind you. Okay, so I should be able to get one, two, three, four of these. Nice. Okay, so now I can make one, two, three, four of these. I can make two of these. And I can make two of these. I like two redstone furnaces just because doubles the chances that you're not going to fall behind on something. So we should be now able to make two redstone furnaces. Let's go out here. What I kind of want to do, this episode is going to be a little longer than normal. Uh, we're going to come out here. We're going to go down one. And over this way. No, not a fluid duct. Item duct. We have to go here because I don't want those to connect. We could go down and do that, but I'm not gonna. I like to see my pipes. I do. I like to. I like to see where things are going, especially when we finally get clear ones. You can actually see the items moving around, which is kind of cool. So. 
we're going to have this redstone furnace here and this one here. Now these, we're going to configure. They're going to get input on the bottom. Okay, so the items are going to be, the, 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 the logs are going to come into there and they're going to come up to there. So we want a whitelist ignored. They're not going to be pulling anything just yet. Uh, we need one flux duct here. So both of these get power. And then we're going to have the output on the top, like so. And they are going to come in here and connect to there. And that connects both sides of this, which will eventually have the capacity to have a lot more power coming down. But to the very beginning here, uh, let's see, is auto output enabled? Yep, auto output is enabled. Uh, we will be able to put more servos on this to make it a little faster. But for now, I'd like to get at least a little bit of power in here to start. This should be the almost the last coal that I have to pull in. So I want to grab a spruce log, set this whitelist to spruce. It's about the only option that we have. And it should make its way slowly. These things are not the fastest in the world. There we go. Now this thing is making charcoal, which should get pulled out. Oh, I might need a servo. Oh, no, there it goes. It gets pulled out. Once this fills up with wood, it should go to the next one and start filling that one up. And now the logs, as we see, we don't see the charcoal just yet, but one of these will kick on. Because that charcoal is making its way down here. Who knows which one of these is going to kick on first. There, this one. Look at that. Now we have a little trickle. It's a little trickle at the moment, but it is it is coming in, which is nice. So these things are actually consuming 20 RF per tick. So these two combined use as much power as one of these dynamos. So yeah, that is that is the thing. So that's why I have two of these because once we get going, we're gonna need we're gonna need some processing power up in here. Uh, let's just make sure that yeah, these are all outputting. Now we're just waiting on trees to grow because uh, we're all empty here. And now it's just kind of you know if we had bone meal or something we could probably influence this. But it's, it was enough to get us started. And then what I can do, since the logs are coming out here, I can just bump them in and push them into a block there to place them to make, make us some more automated uh, uh, latex and rubber, which is, which is really good. I really wish I could have uh, made the transparent ones so I could see the items flowing around in there. That would have been really cool. You can see this is filling up, and so one of the things I'd like to do is just sort of distribute that a little bit, get a little bit more power into the system, and then go, you know, go from there, which is nice. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.